Hi everyone and welcome to my kitchen. Have you ever come home from work after a really long day and you really don't feel like cooking, but you still want something healthy and you don't want to do takeaway? Well, what we're going to do is a spicy lentil soup and that's going to be really delicious. Um, for If you're having a meat-free Monday, that'll work perfectly. This is like a slow-cooked meal that would normally take eight hours, but in the Tupperware micro pressure cooker, it's going to take between 20 and 30 minutes. This is the Tupperware micro pressure cooker here. It works with the efficiency of microwave cooking, but it has the health benefits of pressure cookers. So it uses both methods to actually cook your food. There are a few safety features to this. This is the safety arm. So you can release that, you can give the top a bit of a, a screw off, and then there you've got your uh, instructions. So <laughs> when you lose the instruction booklet that it comes with, <laughs> you're going, where's that instruction booklet? Oh, that's right, all the instructions are on the inside here, so you don't have to stress, okay? There are a couple of other safety features um, and benefits to this as well. So can you see here, I don't know if you can see that, there's a little pressure release valve there, and that's going to let all of the steam escape when it builds up into the pressure cooker. There is a little, can you see that? The little pressure indicator as well. So when the pressure builds up in here, that pressure indicator goes into the up position. When you take it out of the microwave oven, that's going to go down, and then you know that it's safe to take your cover off as well. The, on the inside here, there's your little black O-ring, and that helps lock everything into place as well. And on the, on the cover here, I don't know if you can see these little grooves. So they interlock with the tabs on the base, and um, that is an extra safety feature that locks everything in as well. So this is a 3-litre base. There is a minimum line and a maximum line. The maximum line is two litres, so it's about two litre soup or stocks or stews or curries that you're going to do. It can do sweets and savouries, but like I said, we're going to do the spicy lentil soup. So, you've had a long, hard day at work. If you're anything like me, you've got a quarantine tummy after COVID, so we need to work that out. So what we're going to do is, this is our little chopper. When you take the blades out, if you don't want to pop them on the bench, just pop it onto the cover like that, and that'll stop your bench getting all messy. So what we've got, we're going to pop in a piece of garlic. This is a rubber jar opener. So it's, you know when you need to open a can and you don't have a man to help you? You don't need a man. Empower yourself and get one of these rubber jar openers by having a Facebook party with me or a Zoom party, or I can come into your kitchen and cook you dinner and we can go live from your living room. So that's really good for um, peeling your garlic as well. So that's that. What we're going to do is we'll just pop that blades in there. We've got a little bit of ginger, we've got a little bit of turmeric, and we've got some onion that we've just chopped up into different chunks. So what we'll do is we'll pop the top on. It's like a little bayonet, so you pop that on. Now, you haven't had time to go to the gym. You've been working all week, so now we're going to do tup aerobics at home. There's a few different ways you can do this. There is a little non-stick pad on the bottom of it, and there's the little string, so you're pulling it. So... If we pop that on the bench top, one foot forward and put your weight on your front foot, one hand on the product, and what we're going to do is we're going to dance for dinner. So you give that a pull, you're backwards and forwards, throw your hips into it, it's going to get a really good workout going. Now, the core of your body is the most important part of your body, and that's what we need to keep in Schmidt condition, okay? So what you do is if you put that on the base of your neck, Feet a little bit apart, and if you throw your hip into it, you can get a really good workout going like that. So what we're going to do is tone up these lovely tuck shop lady arms. Then we'll balance, because Tupperware is all about balance. You've got to fix up the other side. You don't want a beautiful Arnie arm and then a Grover arm on this side. So then you throw your other hip into it, get a nice big balance going. Tup aerobics. I'll turn around so you can see what it looks like from behind. So that's one of those. Brilliant. And we'll turn it around the other side, one of those. All right. So, get a bit of a workout going. So hopefully, oh, can you see that? That's your ginger, onion, garlic, turmeric, beautiful. So what we're going to do is, we're just going to pop that into there. Give the, oh, the aroma is gorgeous. Nice and healthy for you as well. Ginger is anti-inflammatory. So it's very good for you. Turmeric is anti-cancer, so that's also really good for you. And of course, garlic is, you don't have to put the garlic in, but I like the garlic. It's good for your blood, good for your heart. We'll throw that in there as well. So that's all of that done. So then we've got, this is the speedy mando. 
It's a mando chef, so it's a mandolin. Can you see that blade? It's double edged. So it's going to slice when you go down and it'll slice when you come up. There is this safety feature that you can pop in here and you can slide your food up and down. But just for the video, we're going to remove that and I'll show you. We're going to do some celery. I don't recommend doing this at home, but I'm just showing you what it looks like. This is the celery. So we're going to slice that really quite fine. And because it's nice and fine, it won't take very long to cook at all. Oh, one's going... They, they don't want to go in. <laughs> so that's some celery there. We'll do some of this celery here as well. we'll slide that around. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe not. We'll slide that. Like, oh, that's a better angle. Can you see that? If you are, see on the bottom here, there's little ribs. So you can just do that like that and do it straight into the pot. That way we're not going to have them all running around everywhere. We'll do some carrot in there as well. Backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. Still covered under the lifetime guarantee, so you've got no worries about that. And even though it's metal, Tupperware say that you can pop it into the dishwasher just on a gentle setting. So we'll pop some more carrot in there. So in there we've got the carrot, the celery, onion, ginger, garlic, turmeric, a tin of chickpeas, a tin of lentils, and some green beans. I can't remember if I showed you that at the beginning. And we've got some sweet potato. Oh, we'll slide that. Oh, what we'll do is we'll grab one of these Japanese metal. So it's hammered metal. See how it's textured at the top and it's nice and smooth down the bottom? That's going to allow the food to fall straight off the blade so you don't have to keep stopping and, and picking that up. So what we'll do is we'll just chop that in half. I never peel my sweet potato. All the nutrients is in the skin. Um, and so basically if you're peeling it, you're peeling away all the good stuff, throwing that away, and then eating what's left. So we've got some sweet potato, we'll throw that in there, whack that in there. You can have as much or as little, I think the recipe calls for a potato, but I like sweet potato, there's just less carbs, and um, we've all got a quarantine tummy we need to get rid of. So that's that, we might just do, oh that's heaps, so that'll be enough there. So what we'll do is, can you see that? So we've got some sweet potatoes, some celery. You don't have to mix it up, but again, we'll just level it up because there's a big chunk right in the middle. Then we've got a vegetable stock cube. We'll just crumble that in there into pieces. We've got a litre of water, and we'll just pour that up in there. Oh, the kettle's still nice and hot, so that's good. And we're just, we're just going to cover that just to um, cover the actual veggies and the legumes. We've got, oh, there's that celery that escaped before. So, in here, you pop this open. There's little arrows on the, on the cover, and there's arrows on the base as well. So all you have to do is line up this arrow with this arrow, and hopefully that arrow and that arrow line up. Hold the base, just give that a bit of a twist, lock that into place. We're gonna pop that into the microwave oven for between 20 and 30 minutes, probably 30 minutes because this is an 800 watt microwave and uh, we'll come back we'll do another video when this one comes out so see you later